YouTube, it's finally here. This is the ultimate racket review of the Jura Z Strike. Hello YouTube, first of all, I'd like to thank you so much for the support that you've been giving me. My badminton videos are getting view numbers that I would have never dreamt of getting before. Thank you so much to all of you that have suggested this racket for me to review. There are so many suggestions for this racket, so sorry if I can't shout you all out because literally it will take up the whole video. <laughs> Secondly, I'd like to thank Long Tang Sports for sponsoring this video. They're an authorised badminton dealer in Hong Kong and they offer in-shop services and mail order services. So if you're not in Hong Kong and you can't visit the shop, then you can simply go onto their website at www.lt328.com and just buy your badminton stuff and they can post it to you. Other than just selling badminton stuff, they can also string your racket in store and just, there's actually loads and loads of stuff. You can even find like badminton keychains such as this, um, which is pretty sick. Their website is still currently under construction. And so improvements to like navigation and stuff like that will be made pretty soon. Also, if you go on the website, you'll notice that it is in Chinese. So if you go on the button on the top left hand corner and then you select English, the whole website will be translated into English and yeah, make it easier for you if you don't speak Chinese or read Chinese. They have been in business for like 30 years and they've been doing retail businesses and wholesale businesses. So yeah, you don't have to worry about them not being experienced or something like that. I really, really recommend them because like they sell genuine products at much lower price than other places. For example, if you want to buy a Jura 10 right now and you go on direct sports or tennis nuts, you'll be buying the racket at like 140 pounds. Yeah, 140 pounds. But if you go on to long tang sports, you can get it for only 92 pounds. So yeah. And it's exactly the same racket, so I don't see why you shouldn't uh, buy it from them. If you want to find their address, simply go on their website and scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page. So please have a look at their website or just check out the store if you're in Hong Kong. Without further ado, let's get straight onto the video. The ambassador of the Jura Z Strike is Victor Axelson. He's currently world number two when this video is being recorded. The racket comes in the same case as the Jura 10. It says Jura Dual Optimum System on it and also it has a very plush inside so it protects your racket well. The Jura Z Strike has an extra slim and extra stiff shaft, meaning that you'll get insane whip and power in your shot whilst retaining that control. The frame is made from HM Graphite, Nanometric DR, Night Eye Fiber and also something called Hyper MG. The shaft is made from HM Graphite, Nanometric and EX HMG. This model of the racket is in 3U G5 edition and the recommended string tension is between 20 pounds of tension to 28 pounds of tension. This racket is made in Japan and it says that on the shaft as well as on the cap on the bottom. This racket packs loads and loads of new technology. It's actually quite insane. Like there is something called the dual optimum system and it's present in the Jura 10 as well but this is like a an improved version of it. And what the dual optimum system is, is that one side is the box head side and one side is the aerodynamic side. The box head side is for your forehand and the aerodynamic side is for your backhand. The box head side is made from nanometric DR and it has increased shuttle hold by 3%, meaning that you'll get more power and more direct energy transfer when you hit the shuttle. The aerodynamic side is made from night eye fiber and it has increased repulsion rate by 9%, meaning that you'll get quick backhand responses and just generally like a stronger defense overall. This racket has nanometric. Nanometric retains the same stiffness as a conventional racket whilst being 60% thinner. Nanometric DR in the box frame is just like a progression from nanometric. It is specifically built for power. The frame of this racket is isometric, meaning that you'll be getting a very large sweet spot for the racket. On this racket, there is a new grommet pattern in construction. And if you look on top of the racket, you'll see this plate where the grommets are. This increases the contact between the string and the grommet. And therefore, this means that when you hit the shuttle, energy transfer will be more direct and you'll be getting a more powerful shot overall. In the racket frame, there's something called a solid field core. And what this means is that it will get rid of excess vibrations and stuff like that. So when you hit the shuttle, you'll only be getting the vibration needed for a good touch. This racket has something called the horizontal A concept. They first tested this out on the Nanoray Z speed. This was because when the Arc Sabre Z slash was released, people complained that the sweet spot was so small and yeah, generally like the power wasn't there. And so what they did was they found 
that rather than putting the grommet diagonal on the side, they put it directly horizontal. And this increases the sweet spot of the racket. And by increasing the sweet spot of the racket, you'll be having higher chances of hitting a powerful shot and therefore the racket feeling more powerful generally. The T-Anchor technology reduces the excess torque when you hit off centre hit, meaning that if you hit the side, you'll still be getting like a sweet spot feel, you know. The factory grip of this racket is white, meaning that it will get very, very dirty really quickly, and I really don't like it. The Jura Z-Strike has a very similar design to the Jura 10, as they both have like the two sides with different colours, but like, I think the Jura Z-Strike looks better. Actually, the Jura Z-Strike, in my opinion, yeah, is the best looking racket. The frame is designed in a matte paint this time compared to the glossy finish of the Jura 10. And matte paints are like, they tend to be like more durable than the glossy finishes. Um, you know, look, look at the Jura 10, it's pretty chipped up and stuff like that already. And you know my Voltrix Z Force 2, it's using the matte paint as well. And like it's received like a similar amount of damage. There's literally no chips on it whatsoever. It's pretty cool. I've been testing out this racket using the Arizona 50s and the Mavis 300s. When hitting feather shuttles, this racket delivers crisp and powerful shots. While hitting power shots such as clears and smashes and stuff like that, this racket has this whippy feeling. It seems as if the racket actually bends as you hit it. And at first it's kind of like difficult to get used to considering I was using the Jura 10 before. And the Jura 10 has more of a stiffer feeling, you know. It's also quite hard to get used to because like one side is slightly lighter than the other and the balance of this racket is different to the Jura 10. Like don't think, oh, both of them have the dual optimum system and it's basically the same thing so you can just get used to it really quickly. No, it actually took like two, three weeks before I could actually get used to this properly. But, like I was using the Jura 10 before and I can tell you it is completely different. Clears are just effortless. They're really accurate and you can deliver shots that are really long range without having to try. And since the sweet spot is so large, even during like extremely pressured moments of the game, you can still deliver those extremely high and long distance defensive clears. And if you want, you can deliver very, very fast punch clears. And best of all, smashes are amazing. Like, I can say this is more of like a cross between the Voltrix Z Force 2 and the Jura 10 combined because like this racket has the speed of a Jura 10 whilst having the power of the Z Force 2 but the power is different because like the Z Force 2 has the power of like that solid feeling punch whereas like this racket has the power of whippiness you know it's, it's a different sort of power but you know it kind of feels like the cross in between of these two rackets drop shots they feel really really precise as you hit the drop shot, you kind of feel like you're connecting with the shuttle and you can like push it and guide it along to where you're hitting. Drives. Drives are just amazing. You know, like the like Juras are just good for drives and quick responses anyway. So you can use the aerodynamic frame to its best uh, use with those quick drives, um, taps and stuff like that. Most of the time you can like outpace the other opponent. Net shots, they're quite good, but like it's not anything extraordinary. If you know what I mean. Okay, moving on to plastic shuttles. This racket doesn't perform very well with plastic shuttles. Um, the string bed feels really, really, really soft when you're hitting plastic shuttles, even though this is strung at 25, 26 pounds of tension. I'm not sure which one, but I think it's around 25. It's still pretty high tension and it's not meant to feel this soft. So when you hit the plastic shuttles, it feels like you don't really have control over the shuttles. It just feels like you're just hitting them and they're, they're, they're just flying, you know. If you're playing with plastic shuttles, I really do not recommend this racket because this is mainly uh, built for feather shuttles. So with clears in plastic shuttles, you're just hitting it and it just literally just flies. Um, I mean, you, you kind of have a sense of direction of where the shuttle's going, but like it's not as precise as the feather ones. And drop shots, they're either too quick, like more of like a half smash, or they're really, really slow and they're just very floaty. It's hard to hit the perfect drop shot with this uh, racket using plastics. Drives, it just feels like you're just hitting through the shuttle. And because the string bed is so soft, it's not very good for plastic uh, shuttle net shots. You know, it's just, there is no touch. You cannot, you can't control the shuttle like an 
give it like you know those tumble shots or whatever when you hit the shuttle yeah it just literally feels like it's just flying away but the only thing that's good uh about using this for plastic shuttles is that the smash energy is insane like when you smash it it literally whips the shuttle down onto the floor before anybody can literally see it that's how amazing it is now i'm going to show you more videos of me playing with the jura z strike If you have any suggestions for videos, put it in the comment section down below and you'll be featured in the next video. Please like, subscribe, and tell your friends about my channel. Bye bye!